Hi. I thought I'd bring you along on a special treat this morning. I was out in the yard picking a bunch of dandelions. Most everybody knows what dandelions look like and what they are. But what I'm doing now is picking just the flower. Um, you can tell it's a real dandelion instead of one of the look-alikes. The stem comes straight out of the center of the circular or star pattern leaves. There's one flower per stem. The stem is smooth and hollow. But uh, most people can identify a dandelion. But anyway, I was picking the dandelion tops, and I tried to get it as close to the bud, where it first comes out, as possible. Now, the little green flowers that are on there are a little bit bitter, so a lot of times I will try to pull those off in the processing. Seems a little tedious, but it's worth it. Uh, if you don't take them off, they're not that bad. It's just a little bit bitter, and I like them to be as sweet as possible. The batter that I've got them put in is simply just a little bit of uh, flour and water mixed really thin. You can also use egg and milk and mix that up. It makes a little bit thicker batter. And when you deep fry those, it'll come across more like a donut. These are very light and they taste taste like you're eating spring. They're very, very fresh, very light, very delicious. When you're taking off the stamen, like I was just talking about, the little green the little green parts. Okay, here, taking this flour, dipping it down in my batter, getting a halfway decent coating. There you go. And just set it down in an already hot oil. I'm using sunflower oil with a little bit of uh, avocado oil added. Uh, very clean, very fresh, very, very tasty. Set a couple more in there real quick. And uh, anyway, uh, if you, when you're taking the stamen off, sometimes the, the flour will fall apart and all the petals and everything will just kind of fall apart in your hand. Uh, you want to save those because when you're done, you'll have a little bit of batter left over and you'll have a pile of flowers that have fallen apart or just flower petals. Mix those together and you'll make like a fritter and you can deep fry that the same way. Tastes just as good. If you want and put it in a deep fryer, especially if you use the egg wash version of the of the batter, you'll have a, a heavier batter and when you put it in the deep fryer, it'll come out tasting very similar to a mushroom. When you deep fry it like this, in the heavier batter, it comes out very similar to a donut. Using just a flour and water batter like I'm doing right now, you get more of the flavor of the petals and, and the flour itself, which I really enjoy. Sorry about the, the camera work. I'm paying attention to the stove to make sure I don't get burnt rather than uh, making sure everything stays in frame. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is what you'll end up with. A nice golden brown. Absolutely beautiful. Let it sit off to the side for a couple of seconds to cool. But this is uh, absolutely delicious. Anybody that has a yard knows dandelions grow absolutely everywhere. They cook very fast. They're extremely nutritious. Dandelion roots are being used in some research for cures for cancer in conjunction with burdock root. You can also cook the greens and it's much like a, a spinach or kale flavor. Uh, very, very good, very healthy. You can eat it raw, the, the leaves in salad. Um, you can eat the tops. Every part of the dandelion is is usable and edible. This is just one of many ways that you can eat the tops. The tops are also used. You can make dandelion wine or dandelion beer. You can eat them fresh like this. Um, and it's also one of the very first flowers to come up in the spring so it's a first meal for honeybees. 
So uh, please take into consideration harvesting your yard rather than spraying it to kill it. And if your neighbors say anything at all about it, you could always tell them that you've just expanded your garden. Let them try it. And I guarantee once they have, they will also be cooking their dandelions. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoy the video, consider a thumbs up. And if you're so inclined, give me a subscribe and watch for future videos coming up. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. And just before I go, the dandelion, dandelion tops, absolutely delicious. Once you start eating them, it's better than any potato chip you've ever tasted, I guarantee it. Once you start, you'll be out in your yard on your hands and knees. Have a wonderful day. See you soon.